What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another mini clip from Hockey Town University. You're here with me again, Zach. Just kind of want to give you a brief rundown on the whole entire trade deadline week, not just the day of what Steve Eisenman and the Detroit Red Wings have done now that the deadline has officially ended. It is currently 3.28 p.m. Um, I know that some paperwork is still being processed uh, through the league to see what is considered a done deal and what isn't. Uh, but for right now, let's just go over and recap what has happened. Philip Peronik was traded to the Vancouver Canucks along with a 2023 fourth round pick. Uh, the Red Wings got the, uh, the 2023rd uh, first round pick from New York Islanders. That was conditional. It was top 12 protected along with the 2023 second round pick from the Vancouver Canucks. The next trade was involving Tyler Bertuzzi. That happened yesterday. We ended up getting a 2024 first round pick from Boston. That was a conditional top 10 protected pick. That would then be moved to 2025 if Boston does fail to be a good team for next season and they fall in the bottom 10 of the league. So there's a good chance of that. Who knows? We'll see and just wait to see what Boston ends up doing in the offseason to retain some of their players. They got some players, good players coming off the books. We also were given a 2025 fourth round pick from Boston. We also did retain some cap on that Tyler Bertuzzi contract, 50%. His cap hit now comes in at $2.375 million. And then earlier this morning, Jacob Verana was traded to the St. Louis Blues. 50% of his contract was retained as well for $2.625 million in exchange for a 2025 seventh round pick. And along with AHLer Dylan McLaughlin, um, this, you know, after thinking about it from this morning when I posted the video, you know, this isn't as underwhelming. It still technically is. However, given the not issues and not problems, I guess I don't really have a good word for it, but the struggles that came with Verona this year definitely put Steve Eiserman in a loop and Eiserman did not want to keep on carrying out that contract and Honestly, this is a good move for the players, so good on Steve Eisenman for giving Verana the fresh start that he might need to change his career around. So good luck to you and St. Louis once again. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi as well in Boston and Philip Peronik in Vancouver. But last but not least, like I said in my latest video, Oscar Sundquist was just traded to the Minnesota Wild. No cap retained. They didn't have any more spots that they could retain salary in exchange for a 2023 fourth round pick. So you're getting back a, a fourth round pick for this year's draft that you gave up for Philip Peronik. So really, the Red Wings did not lose out on anything this year, and they gained a lot. You got a fourth, you got a seventh, you got a first, a fourth, uh, two fourths, technically one for 2025, another first, and then a second round pick. We'll be discussing more about those uh, in the episode that we will be recording tonight. So stick around with us, you know. Hit that notification bell when you do subscribe so that way you get alerted on when we do post our videos. Make sure you smash the like button on this video and leave a comment. Let us know what you think that Iserman did. For me personally, I would grade this so far as a B plus, uh, but we will be able to hear from hopefully uh, Matt and Derek later tonight as well on the episode. So stay tuned with us. Thanks for joining us once again. Talk to you guys soon.